I picked up this 99 overall Tyler O'Neill. I got him out of the 31 event pack. 125 contact and power versus left-handed pitching. 106 contact versus righties. 115 power. 94 fielding. 95 reaction. Max 99 speed on the card. Going for four to 500,000 stubs on the marketplace. He's making his debut today. I'm still making that World Series push. Got to get to 900. We're at 775. Home team, so we get a pitch first. I've got O'Neal in the leadoff spot. We're facing 99 Josh Donaldson. I hate that we're facing him, but at least it's a lefty. The very first batter of the game, J-Rod, the lightning card, full count to him. And Roy Holiday gets the strikeout. I have not been doing as good this year, though, with Roy Holiday cards as I did last year. Last year, he was one of my top three starting pitchers, and... That's just not the case for me this year. And there we go. That's going to be out number two. Ellie Day the crew is there, no problem. And does anybody remember some of the McDonald's stories from last summer? How I would go to the drive through and it got to a point where I would recognize the guy's voice. And I would order something like, hey, let me get a quarter pounder deluxe. And then he'd be like, you want 10 chicken nuggets? <laughs> And, uh, and I had not heard or seen from that dude at McDonald's in a long time, but my brother and I went and picked up some dinner for our family the other night. And when I get to the window, I hear him say like, hey, how can I take your order or whatever he said? And I recognized the voice a little bit. It had been a while, so I wasn't sure, you know, maybe it's just someone that sounded similar. But the very first thing I say is, yeah, I would like two Big Macs. And I'm not mumbling, I'm enunciating, it's clear what I'm saying. And after I say that I want two Big Macs, as we have a full account now to Tyler O'Neill making his debut today, facing this John Donaldson. That would have been ball four. Oh, that is a tough swing. But after I say, yeah, I want two Big Macs, I hear on the speaker, two cheeseburgers? And it's just like, no, not again. How is this always happening? And it really makes me wonder, like, is he doing this to everybody? Can he somehow recognize that it's me pulling up to the drive-thru? Mookie Betts has a 0 6 average. This has been a rough start with this card. One hit, and that one is a home run. But after he said the two cheeseburgers, I just didn't say anything. Like, I, I really didn't know what to do. I just kind of looked at my brother because he knows he's been in the car before when this has happened. I kind of look at him. And it's just like, really? This is still going on? But after a few seconds of me not saying anything, then he goes, so you wanted two Big Macs? And it's like, okay, yeah. He, he clearly heard me maybe just messing around a little bit. Oh, that might be a base hit. Tyler O'Neal has some good defense, though. If I had a perfect throw to second, I think we might... Oh, he's not even risking it yet. That's how good Tyler O'Neal is in the outfield, too. It's not just his bat. It's not just his power. But... I really don't mind, you know, having the guy hearing me wrong or messing with me. Like, it's not like it's making my day bad or something. It's just kind of funny, like, that it's still going on over a year later. It's kind of crazy to me. And when I got the window to pay, I couldn't see the guy that was always messing up the orders or, or, or everything like that last summer. The voice sounded the same on the speaker, but I saw a different guy with, like, the headset on laughing and at one point when the person that was you know handing me the food taking the payment everything like that at one point when they had opened the window i could literally hear the guy in the back say did you hear when he just stopped talking and then just laughed and it's like i feel like that's gotta be you know talking about me he says two cheeseburgers after i'm talking about one and two big macs and then i literally like I was just kind of dumbfounded. I was honestly speechless. I, I, at that point, didn't know what to say. But I guess they're having a good time. It was kind of a little bit past, maybe when the dinner rush might be a little bit later in the evening. So, you know, if that's how they're making it more enjoyable for them, making the time go by faster, I don't mind it. It's not like they're causing me any harm. It's honestly kind of funny because it gives me another story to tell. And I know y'all have been asking for more fast food stories, everything like that. And I just gotta write some of them down and remember them. Because I have stuff that happens that maybe I just don't share in a video. Went to Pizza Hut. This was a few months ago. And literally got the wrong pizza. It was kind of crazy. But, you know, I, I could try to start remembering and writing down stuff that happens. And maybe start getting some more stories going. Andrew McCutcheon 0-2. It's been a pitcher's duel in this game so far. 
and it's still a pitcher's duel. Super Fractor John Donaldson, we're trying to get warmed up a little bit. I'm glad I'm not striking out. I'm glad I'm putting a ball in play. I think I need to make him use a, a little bit more pitches in the next few innings. Roy Holiday just trying to keep this scoreless streak going on the mound. Third inning of work coming up. Eight nine one hitters for my opponent. And then I think Tyler O'Neill might even be coming up in the third. I might have to get one or two base runners for that to happen, though. And so far, so good in the top of the third. I love having Ellie De La Cruz as my shortstop. And this is the Lightning Fernando. I think maybe I need to still debut that card too. So if anyone wants to see a 99 Lightning Fernando debut, we could always get that going in ranked seasons. And there we go. One out away from another scoreless inning. I think we should get here. Mike Trout, there we go. That might be one of my better swings of the game. Hit it pretty hard, and I think I'm slowly getting warmed up a little bit. We have Ellie, then my number nine hitter, and Tyler O'Neill is the leadoff hitter today. So if we can get one base runner, then Tyler O'Neill would be coming up in this inning. But if I can't get a base runner, he'll just be leading off the fourth for us. Mike Trout, 394 average. He's been pretty solid for me this year. And he's been a pretty good guy to have in that nine spot. And it's 3-0 to Trout. I think Donaldson might have a perfect game going. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to try to swing at this pitch. And there we go, ball four. So if there was a perfect game going, we know that that's gone. Now we got to try to focus on the Noah hitter, the shutout. Tyler O'Neill, his second at bat of his debut, struck out chasing ball four in the first one. That was so close. I was a little bit late on it, and then the PCI not quite there, but I'm definitely having better swings, better at-bats. There we go. Is that my first strikeout of the day? No, it's number five. Wait. What have I been doing? I have five strikeouts already. I had no idea. I think I got distracted thinking about the McDonald's drive through And there's another one. So maybe I actually do like Roy Holiday. I'm just not using him enough because he's having a great game so far. This pitch was a lot better for me last year than this year, where I aimed the sinker high and inside to the opposite handedness, righty versus lefty, lefty versus righty, go for a perfect release. And then just usually they either don't swing at it or they can't catch up to it. It's an easy strikeout. At least that's my experience last year. This year, I've given up a lot of home runs or maybe flyouts like that, but people are hitting that pitch way better against me than they did last year. And Mookie! Wait, that's not Mookie. I thought Mookie was my number two hitter. Oh, I was so excited that I hit a homer with Mookie Betts. At least Catal Marte hit one, but I'm not really surprised that he did. That's his 33rd homer of the year. Man, I forgot that I switched it around because I put Tyler O'Neill in that leadoff spot instead of Cattell. All right, 1-0 to Mookie. I would love to get another home run and go back to back. I'm literally not trying another card in right field. Mookie Betts is staying in my lineup until I hit a home run with the card. And there it is. Mookie Betts actually gets the home run. Oh, I needed that. Finally, two hits, both of them homers, back to back homers. Perfect, perfects of a John Donaldson. That feels real good. That's getting down. So following the homers, we get a little bit lucky too. There's still no one out here in the fourth inning. And that's ball four. A four pitch walk to Andrew McCutcheon. I don't blame him. 70 something hits, a five something average. I would much rather face Jose Ramirez in his 288 average. Especially because him and McCutcheon have the same amount of home runs and Kutch literally has more hits. And I'm guessing way less at bats. Maybe I should think about taking Jose Ramirez out of the lineup. But I really like using him. I guess I'm not doing as well as some other guys, but I still enjoy using the card. And that's ball four to J-Ram. The bases are loaded. So in this inning, home run, home run, hit, walk, walk. Nobody down, bases loaded, 2 nothing lead. This could get ugly for my opponent. I guess it would be pretty beautiful looking for us. Adley Rushman, Ellie De La Cruz, Mike Trout all got a chance to hit. As long as I don't ground into a double play. And we're already seeing Super Fractor to John Donaldson come out of this game. Bringing in that 94 postseason Patrick Corbin. This is probably the left-handed reliever that I've seen people use the most recently in ranked seasons. Seems like everybody's using this Patrick Corbin card. 
And Adley. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I'm glad I sent the runner from second. Wait, go, go, go home. What are we doing, buddy? Oh, no, man. Everybody's safe. We have two guys in scoring position, a 4 0 lead. I'm not sure if the move to Patrick Corbin really paid off there. That's strike three. It was too close for me to take a two and two count, and I reacted a little bit too late. I thought that might be a homer. No, it is. I mean, that's a pretty good swing. I know I'm chasing an inside pitch, but the PCI right there, good timing. And it's 7-0. We have put up a seven spot here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tyler O'Neill now coming up, looking for his first hit. 0 for 2 to start the day. And that's a perfect perfect. So maybe I really did just need to get warmed up. And I can definitely tell I got more sleep than I did last night. I was playing some of the show yesterday. And I did not feel like this, man. I could tell I needed more sleep. And I got plenty of sleep last night. It was actually one of my better night sleeps in a while. I got some more of this kind of sleep medicine that I take before bed sometimes because I was out. And I could definitely tell that it helped me. I should not have swung at that. All right. I'm going to try to start a two-out rally. I'm so happy that Mookie Betts got a home run, man. And it's another strikeout for Mookie, but we put up seven runs in the inning. Started by Katsal Marte and Mookie Betts going back to back. I'm also getting pretty close to my final of the set four collection packs. So if anybody wants to see a Jimmy Fox debut, we could always get one of those going. As I'm striking out Jimmy Fox for my seventh strikeout of the day. Mike Trout gets here. Wait! I thought I was going to need to dive, and he just caught that on a run. And now, he did fall over after the run, but I don't think you could really consider that a dive. And there we go. Another scoreless inning for Roy Holiday. 7 nothing here on our way to the bottom of the fifth. If I can just get three more runs, we would actually get a mercy rule. And it's taken a quite a while to go to the bottom of the fifth inning. I'm thinking that cutting X Jade might have turned off their xbox or might have closed the application and we might just be seeing a lost connection with opponent here in a second and there it is lost connection with opponent that seven run inning was a little bit too much for him to handle let's see how much closer we are to world series and we are up to championship series i don't know if y'all can see but that's plus 25 up to 800 only 100 points away from making World Series. And maybe I've used Roy Holiday more than I've thought. He's up to parallel four. Mookie's finally up to P1. And my game is still not showing me any progress. Ever since last Friday, I've not seen any progress after the games. Even though I'm getting progress, it's not showing it. Has this been happening for anyone else since last Friday? And now that Mookie's finally hit another homer, I think it can only get better from here. A two for 19 starts. I have a feeling that's going to be way better in another few weeks.